20 seconds in Thailand, Thailand Robin. Today, I want to talk to you about this. But not specifically about Camelot. I want to talk to you about the many different types of uh, situations that you might be put in with the taxi service here in Thailand. First of all, find a more quiet place to and out of the sun to talk about this. There are many levels of talking about Thailand taxi cabs and everyone seems to have their own story. So I'm going to try to break it down because I just got an email from someone who had a story that I don't know if I've addressed before and there's just a, it's not a scam, but it's a padding. You can pad charges over here. Most of you know it, but if you don't, Let's talk about it. In Bangkok, you have motorbike taxis, car taxis, metered, unmetered, tuk-tuks, buses, trains, a lot. Here in Phuket, it's a bit smaller. You have a few motorbike taxis and mainly just taxi services. It, it's pretty much it down here. We have buses, but they're not as frequent and not as reliable, not uh, uh, timely as they are in Bangkok. Pathia, to me, has one of the best services around, which is called a Song Tao. Song Tao means two benches or two rows. And for 10 baht, you can go all the way down one road or all the way up another road. I mean, you also have motorbike taxis there and you also have taxis there. Rule number one, most taxi cabs do not negotiate. Motorbike taxis and tuk-tuk drivers, but a car or an SUV taxi or a metered taxi, there's really no negotiation. As a matter of fact, in Pattaya, you can always negotiate. Motorbike taxi guys, they just, they, they say a price and if you, you start to walk away, they'll probably lower the price. But you have a lot of freelance taxi cab drivers with no meter or they pretend that it's a busted meter and so they can just quote you a random price and you don't want that. You don't want to get into a cab that doesn't have the meter running because then they just demand the price and that's the price that you, you end up paying. In Phuket, Phuket and Pattaya both have what we will call an organized organization of uh, taxi drivers and they work on a level that's unlike Bangkok or Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is a whole nother thing. They have Song towels as well but it's not as cheap as Pattaya. So in Phuket when you're down here if you get into a taxi there's probably not going to be a meter at all. It's just not a thing that they do down here. It's just what they what they say is what they say. Pattaya and Bangkok both have metered and unmetered. It's, it's just all over the place. But the warning in this video, the warning I want to talk about that happened to my friend was he did what he was supposed to do. He got into a metered cab. And so that should be it, right? You just, whatever the meter says is what it is. He, from the hotel to the airport, very simple. Now here's the deal, and I've done this before as well. If you're looking on your phone at the GPS, you can see if the taxi cab is taking the shortest route or if he's not. Mind you, he might be heading for a toll road so don't get all crazy if you see him heading somewhere else. It might be just faster to go on a toll road. You will probably have to pay for the toll unless that was negotiated in the beginning of the deal that he would pay the toll. More than likely, you're going to pay the toll. But if he's driving in circles to get you to the airport, then he's padding the bill and nobody wants that. So I just wanted to share that with you that be aware sometimes, even if you got into a metered taxi cab, you can still get charges padded it can't happen it's not notoriously all the time another thing i always recommend if you can find an older driver older drivers are less likely in my experience to try to pull one over on you in any way shape or form now here's a way to avoid all scams altogether period most of you may know uber most of you might know grab cab well in asia it's grab cab Grab food, grab groceries, grab shopping, grab everything. Now, it's not wonderfully popular. Sorry, I got distracted, swirl. What was I saying? It's not very popular in Phuket and in Pattaya because of the organizations of the taxi drivers. They don't really like this new company coming in with a standard flat rate for a charge to go from one place to the other doesn't work well with what they've been doing for years and years and years. If you're unfamiliar with GrabCab, what it is is it's an app for your phone 
You download it, you put your information in, you put your payment system in, you can choose to pay by credit card or you can choose to pay by cash. I highly recommend that you pick credit card. Once you have it on your phone, you can type in I want to go to anywhere, airport. It will find your location and it will contact a driver nearby. It'll tell you how long it's gonna be for the driver to get there and the price is non-negotiable. The price is there. At the end of the trip, there's a rating system for the driver. The driver wants the best rating system he can get. He does, or her, doesn't wanna have a problem with the Grab Corporation. There's also an option you can tip on your credit card or you can tip in cash. That's completely up to you. Many of the Grab drivers do go out of their way to make the ride more pleasant, you know, uh, complimentary waters, music, air con. They ask you, you know, they try, they are trying to be what a lot of Western people are used to when it comes to Uber, Grab Cab, and there, there was another one that I'm not really familiar with. Um, Lyft? I think, yeah, Lyft. I'm not familiar with that one. So guys, just remember this rule. You can negotiate with a tuk-tuk. You can negotiate with a motorcycle uh, taxi cab, which is scary and fun at the same time. Depends on your uh, roller coaster level. Cars are where you have to be very, very, very careful. Uh, if you're down here in Phuket, you'll see a green license plate, but it's gonna be so expensive, they just, it is. They're gonna tell you for a 45 minute ride, it could probably be 700 baht just for a 45 minute ride. 45 minute ride in Bangkok, probably only be 300. It just depends, it's all over the place. Again, Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai can be just as tricky. So I just highly recommend that you download GrabCab, look at the optional prices on Grab, and then check it with a local driver if you want to, and just go that route. The other thing you can do, find a friend that has a friend that drives a taxi cab. It's still gonna be expensive, but at least you have a friend that knows a friend that so you feel like, you, you, you know what I mean. That, that's all I gotta say about that. Oh. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody, goody. Don't forget that. <laughs>